Warning. You are now entering the contaminated area. Xbox record that Jessamine don't want to fight. Exiting the contaminated area. He's scared. He's fucking scared. Hell of a night. Oh god. Yo, what is happening, you two? You already know who it is. Today, we have my skill haste DPS hybrid build that you guys have been wanting me to show um, based off of yesterday's video. I've been having a lot of fun with it, man. It's super versatile, super balanced, and super fun to use, man. So without further ado, let's get in it. As you guys can see, my firearms are at 5,000, stamina at 4,300, electronics at 5,200, toughness 318, DPS kind of low, but it works out fine, uh, and skill power at 205. The weapons I'm using are two assault rifles. The reason I use an assault rifle is because, of course, it's better base damage. Base damage isn't as high. I can take off from electronics since I I do have skill haste there's a lot of ways to run this build this isn't the only way this is just my comfortable way because i like you know the balance across the board i like the damage i put out i like as you guys seen in um the gameplay yesterday it works decently um according to like my, my play style i'm very twitchy when i move i like strafing a lot so i'm able to stay alive and you know put damage out over time so that's what how i can run it you can easily take from electronics put in the firearms or put in the tankiness however you want um, based off your preference but this is just how the builds are on so my lightweight m4 has a depth deadly and responsive like i said since i have such high skill power and electronics i get a really really good pulse so um crits really matter for my lightweight so that's how i get you know more damage than uh, people would expect off of just the base and my I love oil for when I ADS, I got brutal response to daily as well. So this is like my distance gun for when people are uh, kind of, you know, run away out of the hip fire range. So going into the build itself, as you guys can see, it is three gold and three tactician. My favorite gear set, of course, those who've been following my channel, you know how much I love tactician's authority. So I finally made a build that really works in the DPS world using it. So, of course, I'm using vigorous. That's how I get my overheal. Um, I can switch between all the heals. Um, it's pretty good, man. Vigorous has skill haste on it and health. Most important thing, of course, is a 9% skill haste. You can see this is a god roll, like tactician's vigorous in a way, because I got incredible high roll health. I have the max skill haste. And I have ammo capacity. Going into my mask, it's a refresh mask, so I can get even more heal. Even though I probably don't even really need it, because I get such a high heal anyways. You know, you can never have too much heal. Mine is roll for firearms with skill power. Um, the reason I put chose skill power is I don't really care about crit chance, because my pulse is already high enough, so I can... Um, um, trade off more by getting crit chance which is basically on my pulse by getting skill power and getting a heal out of it as well going into my knee pads i have firearms rolled knee pads with health on them um, I wish I had shock resistance because I hate getting shocked. I don't care about burn, but uh, I wish um, I have shock on everything because that's the most annoying thing in the world. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Going into my backpack, it's a specialized backpack roll for stamina. You could go in between, you know, you can put electronics or DPS. But the reason I chose stamina is I want to at least try to break the 300k toughness range since I am primarily more so a skill build since my electronics are higher i guess i'm more of a skill build hybrid than a dps hybrid but um just so i can have a decent amount of toughness so that i just don't get shredded um this is how i have one rolled for stamina and people say it doesn't matter believe me it does make a difference because as you can see if i went to if i wrote my backpack just electronics my health will go down to 282 and that's way too low so yeah specialized uh with uh, health on it going into my tactician authority gloves i wish i could have a higher electronics roll but you know these are pretty good assault rifle damage crit damage and skill haste uh, another skill haste piece um i can't tell you how important it is to have skill haste on your chest and on your gloves because you won't be able to hit max without running it um you'll get around 40 or so but that these two roles uh, really make the difference when it comes to skill haste and of course tactician authority holster a uh, terrible role but it has skill haste on it and it's the only one i have so this works out for me but as you can see my stats can be way higher if my gear was better but uh i really don't have gear based around you know I, all the gear that i had really for tacticians uh was literally just i don't care as long as they have electronics i didn't really matter about my health or firearms so as you can see this is the product of it but also have skill haste on this so just for an overview, my chest piece has 9% skill haste, my gloves have 8% skill haste, and my holster has 7% skill haste. And on every mod, you'll see I have electronics mod with skill haste, I have a stamina mod with skill haste, I have a firearms mod with skill haste, and I have another... Oh, and, and because I don't 
because I hit cap with only having these three pieces with skill haste, I can run whatever mod I want on this because it doesn't go over 50%. So um, when you add up these three skill haste with the skill haste from my gloves, skill haste from my chest piece, and skill haste from my holster, you go to the, the beautiful, beautiful 50% skill haste. And that makes all your skills dramatically faster. So let's go look at it. So just so we look at the pulses, um, my pulse is at, is at 19%, which is really good for a conceal. My damage is at 26%. My recon's at 22%. My heal heals me for uh, 131 self heal, including refresh. So that you know that's a pretty. It's almost hitting 200k off of a booster, and that's really good because I get into my over shield um, with vigorous. Um, my overdose heals me for 218, and my defib heals me for 122. And you can see the cooldowns are insane. 18 seconds for the def defibrillator. 22 seconds for overdose, which is really, really, really good. Because if you check out your overdose, it's it's almost like 40, 50, 60, uh, 60 seconds. Like if you don't have any skill power, it's almost a minute cooldown, as you can see. So you can see the big differences, like from the base. So I'm little like I literally have half the, the cooldown that most people have. And if you go to my ult, you'll see that my ult comes back really, really fast. Look at the the base; it's 800 seconds, and mine is 300 seconds, man. So you can see how how amazingly fast that is. That's only like three minutes, so. That's pretty much how that goes. And, you know, you can run all kinds of different things um, running the hybrid if you prefer. You know, if somebody else has a good pulse or something, there's a lot of things you can run that are decently spec because your um, electronics are so high. So that's pretty much it. The talents I run, of course, I run triage because you can't get anything better than just more school uh, skill cooldown. Uh, even though I don't probably really don't need it, it's still really, really good to have. Um, critical save, more survivability, strike back, more skill haste, basically, and desperate time. So since hip firing is the meta, if I ever get to low health, um, it'll proc and I get to go back to full health since I have such a good heal and I'll have increased um, accuracy for, you know, however time uh, it is. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the build. It is three gold, three tactician's authority. The reason, of course, I chose tactician authority is because this is a skill haste build. You get 15% with just two pieces. So you don't need three, base, uh, um, three pieces, but with... You know, with three pieces, I have extra skill power, and that you know that works out perfectly fine with me. I don't, I don't really care about having either sharp bows or nimble or savage. Um, it's really good trade off for me. The only three pieces that matter are these, and these all basically go into healing, vigorous, of course, refresh, obvious, and then specialized to increase my health. So, yeah, that's pretty much the build. Um, like I said, the only way to hit max skill haste, which is 50%, is to run tactician's authority on top of having mods. Um, just like I said, even with this 15%. Like let's say we took tacticians away and I don't have that 15%. I uh, I can only get three more percent. So like I believe the highest is around like 43 or something like that. I'm not sure. So that uh, tactician authority is a big 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 buff when it comes to skill haste and it's it's amazing how fast you get your heals back when you proc um, strike back or when you run through triage or even when you um, you know just strafe away until it comes back but yeah it's pretty much the build you guys i will be having a little bit of last time gameplay if you wanted to see actual dz gameplay and how it performs i have an entire video dedicated to it yesterday so you guys can see it but hopefully you guys enjoy if you guys have any questions let me know let me show you the mods and weapons for those who are interested um c79 you know just the usuals um both my weapons except this one i don't know why i have this but i guess it was for stability for ads and but yeah it's pretty much it the heals are amazing. The cooldown's amazing. The DPS is pretty good. Everything works out. If this is a good solo build, it's a good group build. It's the best survivability build. I think you can't get any better. The best thing I could probably possibly do is probably, if I wanted to, lower my firearms a little bit, get more toughness, or lower my electronics. You can also, if you want to, if you like the person that loves to melt, you can take away from electronics and just rely on the speed of the health itself. You won't have a good heal, but you'll still have 50% skill base, which means you'll get your heals back just as fast, and you'll be able to melt people. So that's that's kind of the good thing about this build. You can flip it around any which way you want. Um, but yeah, I think the safest way to go with skill haste because skill haste makes up for the, the lack of heals that you would get in a DPS build. Even if it's a little heal, a lot of little heals add up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hopefully you guys really rock with this build. I really, really do like this build. Um, and I have a lot of fun with it regardless. So thank you guys. You guys have a good one. Stay blessed. Your boy is out.
seconds until tactical boots can be. Charlie is under enemy control. Fail. Multiplier is go. Charlie is neutral. Your spawn relay is now deactivated. Let's see. 